every year there are hundreds of alleged alien sightings all over the world. And every year it gets harder and harder to ignore if aliens really could be living among us. But these sightings are nothing new. In fact, they've been happening for thousands of years. Welcome back guys, I'm your host Kennedy and buckle up cause today we are deep diving into the conspiracy, alien life on earth. So get ready cause this is the top 10 unsettling signs of aliens in ancient history. Starting us off at number 10 is the Madonna with Saint John. Dating back to the 15th century, this iconic painting is arguably one of the most debated depictions of alien life on earth. Likely painted by Domenico Galileo. I mean there is debate there too, but that's another story. However, as you can see, it depicts the Madonna with baby Jesus and Saint John. However, if you zoom into the top right corner, you'll notice something very strange. There is an unnamed man shielding his eyes from what looks like a bright light in the sky, and beside him is a dog staring up at the same shining object. The object appears to be strangely similar to most modern depictions of a UFO, painted as a dark oval with light rays shooting out from every angle, and has definitely been the subject of much debate among alien believers and non-believers for decades. Now, it wasn't unusual for the time to paint angels or other celestial beings brightly shining down on us from the sky, but as this specific painting appears to to have no such addition to the light and is simply a strangely specific flying saucer, it has led many to believe that the painter was depicting a real life alien sighting. And truth be told, it wasn't the first time such things showed up in artwork, and it is also not the last. Could it really be a UFO? I don't know, you tell me. Coming in at number nine, coins. During a house renovation in Egypt, a group of workers say that they found two coins that had very unusual portraits on them. The first they found resembles the head and shoulders of an alien, while the other looks more like it depicts an alien spaceship landing, and they immediately freaked out. Plus, one of them apparently had the words opportunus adest carved on the back, which is Latin for there is an opportunity, which definitely comes across a little spooky. I won't lie, there's a lot of debate around the validity of these coins. As many have pointed out, the coins could have easily been manipulated by believers, but it has been countered by the fact that either way, there's no actual concrete proof that they don't come from aliens. I mean, I have some questions. Would aliens even use currency like us, let alone physical currency? I honestly have no clue, but I mean if I came across these coins, I too might be just as suspicious about their origin. Coming in at number 8, the Second Punic War Sightings. During the Second Punic War, which occurred in ancient Rome between 218 and 201 BC, there were apparently many sightings of strange sky phenomenon that today, believers claim were aliens coming down to earth. These alleged sightings were found in the Annals Maximi, which is essentially a historical record kept by the chief high priest during the Roman Republic, and in it is the tale of a day in 218 BC where ships that apparently gleamed in the sky came out of clouds and stayed floating in the sky. And I mean, I don't blame anyone for jumping to an alien conclusion on that one. Then two years later in 216 BC, a similar sighting was documented where large gleaming round shields allegedly traveled through the air. Conspiracy theorists have clung onto these writings, pointing out how both descriptions can easily be imagined as the common UFO described in our modern era. Plus, this war was not the only one in history to claim such things happening in the sky. I mean, just like everything else on this list, will we ever know if the writings in the historical record really were an alien sighting? Probably not, unless we can figure out a time traveling situation, but it is a little suspicious, I would say. Coming in at number 7, Egyptian hieroglyphs. There's a lot of debate around alien involvement in ancient Egypt, and aside from the eternal debate of if aliens helped build the pyramids, hieroglyphs depict just about the most suspicious signs of extraterrestrial help. Now I'll be the first to say that I don't think all hieroglyphs point towards ancient alien invasion, but that doesn't mean that there aren't a few that raise an eyebrow. One in particular is a hieroglyph appearing to show the Egyptians in possession of electricity, which if that were true, feels like a surefire sign that they were not alone down here. The tableau depicts what appears to be people holding an electric lamp or maybe a light bulb, and believers have not wasted any time adding this to their Rolodex of reasons. And it's not just electricity that ancient Egyptians may have possessed, but other hieroglyphs seem to portray other forms of 
advanced technology that, in theory, they would have no way of knowing about. Hieroglyphs with a spooky resemblance to helicopters or planes have been found and gone viral, only adding to the mystery of how on earth this could have been something they would possibly know about. Could it be that aliens came down and gave them knowledge to advance their technology? Could the alleged airplane drawings be a UFO they saw in the sky? Conspiracy theorists say absolutely. Coming in at number 6, Dogu. Not every sign of alien life has to do with a UFO sighting. Sometimes the signs are a bit more subtle. Dating back roughly to between the years of 14,000 and 400 BC, ancient Japan was known for crafting small human-like statues out of clay called dogu. These statues usually measure between 4 to 12 inches, and while the exact reason for their construction remains under speculation, there are two main theories. The first is that dogu were created as part of an ancient healing and fertility ritual, which could very well be true. However, the second one is a little more intriguing as it involves aliens. Now, if you take a look at these statues, they don't just look like a normal human statue. They have a strange, bulbous sort of look to them with large beanie baby eyes and kind of appear to be wearing what some have described as a stylized spacesuit. That, along with the helmeted head, has created a ton of speculation around if they were in fact modeled after aliens who visited ancient Japan and made contact with its inhabitants. I suppose we might never know for sure, but it's definitely an interesting theory. Coming in at number 5, One Gina. For a long time, a lot of indigenous culture was passed down orally through stories. One of these such stories from Australian Aboriginal mythology talks about spirits named the One Gina, and as they tell it, the One Gina came down from the sky and created the earth as well as all of its inhabitants. Then, when the spirit found the place they would die, they painted their image on cave walls and entered a nearby watering hole. These paintings were then refreshed by indigenous people as a method of generating their life force. But what is intriguing about this tale in particular is that these spirits are depicted all over in the form of ancient rock paintings and appear to date back about 4,000 years. Plus, around the heads of the Wangina are lines or blocks of color seemingly depicting lightning coming out of their helmets, which I mean is definitely a little suspicious. And many believers have been quick to point out the acute resemblance to the description of greys given by alleged alien abductees. If you don't know, greys are pretty much the classic depiction of an alien and are thought to be one of the extraterrestrial races, with UFOologists claiming they make up about 40% of reported abductions and sightings in the US. But could greys have come down, created life on Earth, and then disappeared into the night? I mean, maybe. Who knows? Coming in at number 4, a flaming shield. Similarly to the Roman historical report, other cultures too recorded significant happenings, and the Annales Lorisesnes Maiores, which recorded much of history between 680 AD and 829 AD in what is now modern day Germany, is definitely filled with some mysterious and interesting stories. One tale in particular took place during the time where battalions of Saxon soldiers were attacking, and it details as the attack progressed suddenly a bizarre object appeared in the skies overhead. The potential UFO was described as the likeness of two large flaming shields, reddish in color and appearing as though it was floating in the skies above them. Apparently the object was so frightening that the advancing Saxon army abandoned the fight and retreated back to safety, something that would have been incredibly unusual for them. Now, the only hole to poke in this is that the author is unknown, but it is widely accepted accepted that writers of the time would record events as they happened and that these stories would be compiled at a later date into the finished work. So just because we don't know who wrote it doesn't mean we don't know for sure it didn't happen. Coming in at number 3, Lizard People. One of the wildest conspiracies out there is the belief that there is a race of half human, half lizard people that are taking over the world. Now, I will admit, this one is a little trickier for me to get behind for several reasons. However, after finding out about this piece of the puzzle, I am definitely a little curious. Although the conspiracy wasn't popularized until the 1990s, in the beginning of the 20th century, archaeologist Harry Reginald Hall made an unsettling discovery that definitely brought up a lot of questions. The archaeological site in question is referred to as Tal al Ubaid and has served as a gold mine for ancient artifacts. However, by far, the strangest uncovered artifacts have to be the multiple series of 
lizard humanoid statues found by Harry in 1919. From what archaeologists can deduce, they don't appear to represent gods as they aren't depicted in ceremonious poses, and so it has led many to believe they could be early depictions of the race of lizard people. I mean, I won't lie, these little statues are super creepy and maybe one of the only times the lizard people theory has got me feeling a little suspicious. I don't know, do you think these figurines really could be proof of the evil lizard race? invading the planet? Coming in at number 2, an alien mummy? Mummies are everywhere in Egypt, so while they are definitely interesting, they rarely cause any kind of huge excitement in the archaeological community, unless it's a particularly special one. Well, as I'm sure you've put together at this point, a few years ago, Dr. Victor Lubeck, who was a retired professor from the University of Pennsylvania, uncovered a strange mummy that made him question what he was seeing. Discovered in a small pyramid near Senrusat II's pyramid was the mummy of a small, unidentified creature with seemingly no resemblance to that of a human body or known animal. To make things even more strange, buried along with the humanoid mummy were unusual objects Victor was unable to identify. What was clear was that whatever this was, was mummified with great respect and care. And an inscription was found on the tomb that roughly translates to star or sent from heaven. The running conspiracy theory is that it was an alien who was involved in some way with advising the pharaoh Senruset II, which would explain his royal treatment and careful mummification. I mean, it's definitely unsettling and absolutely an unusual find. But is it an alien? I mean, I guess it could be. And last up today in our number one spot, the Sumerian civilization. The ancient Sumerians were a group of people that suddenly became established in Mesopotamia circa 2900 BCE. No one is quite sure where they came from originally, but there is a general conspiracy that is well documented that their origins were not from planet Earth. According to a series of ancient texts, the Sumerians were created by an alien race called the Anunnaki, who came to Earth after their planet planet Niburu collided with another planet in the solar system. The aliens found themselves in a short supply of gold and saw that Earth was in high supply, so they landed here and supposedly created a new species that was half alien, half human to mine the gold for them. Now. It does sound a little crazy, but the Sumerians did have advanced scientific, agricultural, and technological knowledge as well as an acute understanding of the solar system, which was highly advanced at their time. Researchers have recorded clay pot batteries that still contained electrodes, a flyable model airplane, as well as an unexplainable capability to cut large stones with exact precision. Not to mention, similarly to the Egyptians, Sumerians seemed familiar and depicted drawings of rockets airplanes and helicopters on certain artifacts from their time too. And if that didn't make you even just a bit curious, they have also discovered mitochondrial DNA evidence linked to a woman in Africa dating more than a hundred thousand years ago near a gold mine. While of course we might never know for sure, the legend of the Anunnaki has made even some of the biggest skeptics question the reality of aliens. Well, there you have it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button. and. Let me know down in the comments any spooky conspiracies that you have about aliens. I'll see you next time.